So here I am, back on a Monday for a review. Once again, I've got another day off. Uh, so my first ever review was 19, the 1980s The Fog. One of my favourite films of all time. So today I'm going to review the 2005 remake of The Fog. Anybody that's seen that first video knows how much I dislike remakes, especially this remake. But it's only fitting that I do this review. Right, let's get into the film itself. So it was released October 14th, 2005 in the US. Its director was Rupert Wainwright. It all... Oh, oh, uh, something popped in my head there and I completely forgot what it was. I am very sorry for that. It was made on a budget of 18 million US dollars and made 46.2 million US dollars. That statistic alone should tell you how poorly this film did in the box office. I'm sure I'm not the only person that hates this film, but I'm also sure there are people that love this film as well. The cast was Tom Welling, aka Mr. Smallville. I had to get that in there, as Nick Castle, Maggie Grace as Elizabeth Williams, and Selma Blair as Stevie Wayne. Right, let's do this. I personally hated this film, with good reason. Um, I don't understand the reason why they have to take a perfectly good film and basically wreck it and this is what they did with this film it doesn't match up to the original it does in places but the majority of the film it doesn't even match up to the original to the original it's got the it's got the same storyline but it's set out so differently and things were changed in the film there are certain bits of the first film which I really thoroughly enjoyed and expected it to see in the remake and most of it wasn't there and if it was there it was changed so dramatically I just went oh, I hate this film and I, I really did I did struggle I, I re-watched it this morning this uh, remake and I really did struggle to sit down and watch this all the way through I believe that I said in my first review that I could re review it in one word and that word would have been shit, and I still believe that I can do this now. But unfortunately, where I'm going to review this, I've got to go into a little bit in depth with it, when I could actually pick away at this film and basically destroy it. Which I could do, but that video would be epically long, and I am not wasting too much time on a review on this film. So cast wise, Tom Welling is Nick Castle. Obviously he's playing Nick Castle from the original film. He didn't remind me of, of him at all. There is a scene in the original where he's basically driving down the road and picks up a hitchhiker, aka Jamie Lee Curtis, where they've never ever met before in their lives, ever, in the new one. He picks up a girl which is actually his ex-girlfriend and they knew each other and later on in the film she becomes a very, very key part of this film which didn't even happen in the original. That's one point I hate of it, is that this character in the original who's meant to be kind of Jamie, playing Jamie Lee Curtis's role doesn't even it doesn't even happen in the original, so that, so, yeah. I mean, he's, he's not a bad actor, Tom Welling is not a bad actor, I, I won't ever deny that, but this role, he was so not suited for this role. At all, see I'm struggling to even talk about the individual characters, because they just did not fit it in any way, shape or form. Now, going on to Maggie Grace as Elizabeth Williams. Like I said, this character wasn't even in 
the original in any way, shape or form. She's obviously put in this film to give it a bit more entertainment value and a different storyline as well towards the end, which to be fair, you could probably pick up about halfway through the film what exactly is going to happen at the end of the film with this character. All in all, I haven't, like I said, I haven't got a lot of love for this film. Um, her character, I didn't enjoy in any way, shape or form. Um, I didn't believe that she needed to be in this film in any way, shape or form. And she didn't even re even slightly remind me of Jamie Lee Curtis's role in this film. And moving on to Samuel, 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 Blair, or Samuel Blair as Stevie Wayne. To be fair, this character is probably a little bit more in in the remake. It's a little bit closer to the uh, Stevie Wayne that's in the original. Unfortunately, there is a scene towards the end where she's at the top of the lighthouse and uh, the bad guys. I, I don't want to say too much about the film because I could give it away if you haven't seen it. I'll basically basically changed her, chased her, I should say, to the top of the lighthouse. That scene isn't even in this remake. It is a completely a different scene altogether which didn't have any influence or any need to be in this film it was complete waste of time apart from putting in a little bit of a scare factor and a few extra CGI moments in this film it was just awful I mean through the film it was awful. It was poorly cut together. It jumped from one bit to another bit, and oh, it. it there's a, there's also a scene on a boat where you got three drunken guys, and basically they get murdered by the pirates. Well, they're not really pirates. I can't, like I said, I can't give away too much of the film. They're, and they basically all get killed. But in this one, they stuck in two women and two blokes. One of them survived. The two women shouldn't have even been there. It should have been three drunken sailors on that boat. It just didn't work for me, personally. Okay, I will stress that these are my views on this film and my opinions on this film. The ending was completely different to the original. Father Malone, who's in the original, played a very, very key part in the original. You see him a handful of times. You see him, and he's mainly drunk in the film anyway. You only see him a handful of times, and at the end, in the original, he played a big part in the end scene. In this one, he didn't. He just he didn't have that role we had in the original, which I also didn't agree with. Uh, so there are many, many flaws about this film. I, could, I literally could go on and on and on about this film. But I'm only just reviewing it, and these are just my personal opinions. So here's a mission mission for you all. Go and find the original. Watch the original. Then go and find the remake, and watch the remake. And tell me what you think of the two different films. The one thing I will say on this is I understand... That in 2005 they were trying to beam it at a direct a certain audience. It was the time of Final Destination, the first Saw film, Freddy vs. Jason. It was the time of the slasher horror films. So I can understand the audience they were trying to uh, aim it at. But they could have done that if they just kept the original, kept to the original film. And didn't chop and change it or swap scenes about or put extra things in there for entertainment value. They would have had a perfectly good film if they just used the original exactly how it was. All you would have had is a modern take on it. That's all it was. And it still would have been a very enjoyable film in my eyes. So, you've got your mission. If you agree with what I said, post it in the comments below. If you disagree with the comments I said, Post it in the comments below. I quite gladly have a debate with people on this film. Give the video a like. 
Oh, and go onto my Facebook page, uh, Dave Cook Film Reviews and Trailer Reactions. I know it was not one of my best reviews ever, but I had to do it just to, you know, it was one of those things in the back of your head. It's like, I've got to review it at some point. And I was always going to have to do a negative review on a film at some point. There are many other films which I dislike, and I will get around to them as well at some point, but I had to do this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great rest of the day. I shall be back very, very soon for another review, which I do believe is the 1999 uh the Blair Witch Project, which I'm going to do because I plan on going to see the new one this weekend if I can. So I thought it'd only be fitting if I'd done the first Blair Witch and possibly the second one. The second one I really didn't like, but the Book of Shadows. So anyway, like I said, like the video, put some comments down below if you agree with anything I said. Have a great rest of the day. I shall see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.